So here we are. Um, we have lots of kind of sections of product and makeup here. Why don't you tell me what each pile represents? What do we have here? Actually, it's it's all rather muddled up. But what tends to happen is that pr the product comes in, mm -hmm. it goes into the yep. the Royal Mail box, yep. of which yep. the Royal Mail have been very good to me yep. over the years. As you I'm have sure. blue ones. I have grey ones. Yeah, yeah. I think all bloggers have these, yep. right? Yeah. Um, occasionally, I take them all back with a box of biscuits. So eventually, <laughs> we're all right. Um, I think of them as on loan, but. Um, so that will go in, as, that is stuff to be shot, to, to be tried, to be tested, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for me to read the press releases. Mm -hmm. Stuff here is, is a slight mixture of stuff that has already been shot and stuff that's going to be shot, but okay. I just haven't moved them in the circle. So these yet. are things you've pulled out because they're of interest, they're of initial interest to you. Yes. Yes? Yes. Exactly. Um, but as you can see, I've got quite a lot of skincare and that's much more sort of time consuming yeah. and needs more yeah. looking at than, for example, you know, some lovely sort of uh, right. uh, casual. So, you only have one face. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. Precisely. But this is kind of representative of a really good mix of um, things and my nail wheels because I spend my, I used to do it on my own nails, believe it or not, but I was just like changing my nail polish five times a day. This can't continue, so I now get these nail wheels and I just polish up um, sort of new collections mm -hmm. to take pictures of mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And then in here, I don't know if you're able to see, is the, this is the keep drawer. Now we do talk quite often about the keep drawer on my blog. Okay. It's gone straight in the keep drawer and this is the keep drawer. So this is stuff that you have tried and has kind of turned you on, you've liked it. And I've, well, I thought I, I want to keep this forever. Yeah. Yeah. So rather than going into my other room where things get stored until I can get them off to charity or for friends to take, whatever, this is stuff that I really, really don't want to be without ever again. And as you can see, for, for example, so I'm a terrible hoarder. If I love a brand, I really, yeah. really love a brand. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and on it goes with, with this particular brand. Um, so this is Lana Lips, um, <laughs> this of which is like the we Lana share Lips a deep love. Yes, absolutely. And lovely Kirsten. And um, yeah, so the, your powder is the best powder I've ever found and the mm -hmm. only powder that I wear. Yeah, it's a lovely um, product. Lots of foundations. I actually bought this myself. Um, so it's the Skin Serum Foundation. Do you find the pipette works? I find it does not work. I find it's okay. Really? Yeah. So which colour are you? You are natural. Mm -hmm. I, might not, I might not be natural now because my, my colour's changed over the summer because I do change colour quite quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but these are all my sort of favourite things. MAC Pro Longwear. Great, I never want product. to be without that. Great never. Product. I also love, even though it's highly t uh, fragranced, the Jolie Tan because it, it gives is such a nice smell though. It is. I love the smell. It is. I'm not terribly sensitive, you see, so I can no, pile I'm on not. quite yeah. perfumed things. I thing. can do. The Burberry um, Fresh Glow. Uh, yeah, that that is absolutely lovely. I love that foundation. But also, I'm this is like a long time favourite. L'Oreal Lumi Magique. Yeah, works really well Great for me. Great colour range also. Yes, exactly. And then this is also one that I'm never without, yeah. um, and that's the Body Shop Oil and Serum. And I add it to foundation if my skin's feeling dry or whatever. Yes. And it mixes in really nicely. So there's two, two so bottles of that. quite a few that. bases here. Yeah, I'm always trying things. I um, a random toothbrush for my eyebrows, probably. So beyond protecting, yeah. But also you can see where my favourite brands, because I've got literally... So, so this is what I was going to ask you. Yeah. If if you weren't sent samples, what would you still treat yourself to, Chanel? I absolutely, yes, I would treat myself to Chanel. I would probably also treat myself to Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. Because I think over the years, I've really learned what, that I'm, I can, a L'Oreal base is fine. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it works as well as any premium mm -hmm. base. I'm very happy with that. So uh, there was always a thing that you must spend money on foundation. But not, not anymore. You know, brands have have upped the formula so so nicely. So if I was buying for myself, I would buy I would buy things like Chanel quads and um, Charlotte Tilbury um, quads also because I love eye makeup. Um, I'm not such a massive fan of 
lipsticks as such, but mm -hmm. I found I, I like MAC. They, they're not too drying on me. Um, Dior glosses, I'm always happy with the Those Dior glosses. Those are lovely. So yeah. I think I would go for, it's really quite obvious. Um, and do you still, does your heart kind of still skip a beat when a Chanel parcel arrives? Yeah, of have course. You, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It has to. It does have to, yeah, right? It's it massively does. important, I think. But then I buy products from other countries quite often yeah. as well. So, you know, the cushion foundations, well, they do look like a hot mess, but they go on so nicely. Yeah. And this is actually a grid solution. This is one that I've been um, looking at. Um, and it's, I mean, it's so made for the Asian market that even the colour, Yeah. that's an Asian colour, that's not a colour, just because of that... Um, sort of nuance in tonality uh, it's so, it's so so different so don't don't think this one is ready for the uk market yet actually there are some great korean cushions that i've been using quite a lot that oh, I, I love Laneige, Laneige yes. i love perfect Le yeah. Laneige sleeping mask is a thing of love it joy um but the Lancome one i think is very good yes me too it very is very good. very good so um, so you love your base you've got quite a lot of base in here yeah you, do you wear base every day Pretty much. If I'm just going out, walking the dog, I just the first thing I put on is the Bare Minerals Complexion yeah. Rescue. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's not enough moisture for me, but and it is I'm lovely. loving um, Dior Nuda. I love it, but you have to use a brush to put it on. Yeah, my friend India loves that. It doesn't work so well for me, but I'm not so oh, good no, with hybrids. I love it. Yeah, I don't love hybrids on my skin. Mm, okay, fair enough. But fair enough. I like them on other people, but they're not fair so enough. Funny. So, um, so loads of base, yeah, pro long wear. So my MAC palette, oh, so all my eyeshadows, yeah, spotlight, I love that actually. Yeah, it's great. But you know, so I've got real sort of like Maybelline cheapies. Yeah. Um, and bourgeois, some really, really super colour. Yeah, I love that. I mean, this just... Urban what, Decay are really good at glitters. Look at on your skin, yeah. they, they do that so nicely. Yeah, they do. Um, and all the packaging sort of... Um, mother of Pearl, so just to ram that home in case I you think that. you're not glittery enough. I know. So when th when this happens, it's really fun. Uh, so mm, what else do I have? Charlotte Tilbury. Colour again. chameleons. Brilliant. Yes, they're Brilliant. super things. Can't live without. I've got a few of the uh, Givenchy uh, colours, so I like to have quite a challenging. Mm -hmm. You know, see how see how I can get that to work, and it's actually really nice. Although she's not really. And do you still love making up, or do you ever find that your job kind of gives you makeup fatigue, or do you still love putting your face on? Do you know, day to day, I wear less. Mm -hmm. But when I go for it, I I am much Same. more experimental and much more interested in thinking the look through maybe, whereas before I would have just gone, okay, well I'll just do that and that and go. Mm -hmm. Now I sort of think about what's going to work mm -hmm. and. You know, just, I don't know, I just sort of take more pleasure less often, mm -hmm. if you see what I mean. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So, day to day, if you're wearing less, which I entirely understand, mm. what's the thing you're not going to go without? No way, no how. That. Yeah, okay, so because that's your go-to. Like literally the living dead with nothing on my skin, so I have to have something with a hint of a tint. So, over here we have perfume. Are yes. you a perfume fan? Do you know, I do, I do like perfume. I'm not sort of necessarily a daily perfume wearer. Oh, really? But the one that I come back to time after time is an old favourite. It's Gucci Guilty. And it's just sweet and floral and pretty. And for some reason, it's gorgeous. Um, but I do love, see, I love the Jo Loves. That's the white rose and lemon leaves. That's not my favourite. Pomelo is my favourite. Yeah, so the first time I met you, you were wearing Pomelo, and I must yeah. say, it does really suit you. I remarked on it, didn't you I? You did, but yeah. yeah. I'm and just going to spray some of this. I d I it's so nice dealing some I have this in my bath, I have this for, you know, washing my hands. So these are sort I of my go-tos, but I just got some Michael Kors. And they're not dissimilar, actually. I hope Michael Kors will forgive me, but not dissimilar to that flower power mm -hmm. very sweet mm -hmm. feminine really feminine yes. yeah super Doof. super feminine yeah and this is the only fragrance that i've literally been stopped in the street with people going what what is it you're wearing it's a weird thing guilty. though it's a weird thing with perfume you can't there's no accounting for taste you either respond to a smell yeah, exactly. or you don't it's so exactly which is why it's so hard to write about but if i you, struggle if you with feel it. it oh i love it but i do treat it i love writing about perfume it's one of my favorite things to write about but it is like doing a sudoku or something it's quite challenging 
challenging. To have to unravel what what it's triggered that without you don't being the ball that quacks on about yeah. notes and top notes and stuff. Yeah. It's I sort of treat it like a bit of a puzzle, which I enjoy because it keeps a muscle memory yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it yeah. is tricky. It is. So um, so hand chemistry, classic, yes, brilliant, I, brilliant. I've product. got so many tubes. Yeah, of that. I love it too. So many tubes, but. You see, I had lash extensions for a long, long time, and so I'm quite. I'm having all the excitement of mascara all over again. I'm yeah. like a newbie for mascara. Yeah. So I'm trying the the Mac. Um, that's the Curl, the Clinique. Um, but then you know I try. This is a German brand, Isadora. Yeah. I really like that. Shiseido. I was loving that, and uh, the new Chanel one. Love that. I find mascara a very interesting product because I think it's the one product where price is never an indicator of quality. It isn't. In that a mascara can be amazing at 30 quid, mm -hmm. amazing at three quid, yeah. rubbish at three quid, yeah. rubbish at 30 You're quid. You're absolutely it's right. such a kind of free yeah. for all. But I'm really, really reignited. My passion for mascara has been reignited because mm -hmm. I haven't used them for such mm -hmm. a long time. I did love my extensions though. Oh God, I did too. I just ran out of time. And lashes. Yeah. No, I did. My lashes were okay. Really? Actually, yeah, they were. I, they I were really fine. love them, and I still do them maybe three times a year if I've got a big month ahead. Yeah. But I can't do them all the time because I fret about my lashes. No, mine were mine were okay. I think they were a little reduced, but not. You not might have anything. quite thick lashes that can take the weight. I suppose. Possibly. Possibly. Um, so these are the new Mac Pro palettes. Um, I got this too. They're like a range of loads. Of, I love these. Yeah. Gorgeous. I love these. Can't Although, argue with that. Do you know, there's a massive trend for brands putting super light colours that are very closely connected. On the skin, you're not really going to see that nuance. That is for a photograph that's for photography. Yeah. That's not for the consumer. It's and a they need pro to brand. stop yeah. doing that. Really. I got a different colourway to But it's not so just um, Mac that's doing it. I'm seeing a lot of brands just going with these but real is it variations. A selfie on pale. thing? Is it an Instagram thing? I, it's odd, know, you're, isn't it? You're not going to see the difference the difference between that and that. Makeup is so becoming about photography for normal people yeah, though. It's, I true. Mean, it's very strange, isn't it? It's true. So yeah. nail polish, I don't feel like this is your main nail polish this stash. Is not You've my just nail. got a couple that I can spot. This here. isn't my main nail polish stash because as you can see, it is stuffed. There's no room for nail polish. And just you know, if you live and breathe beauty, it sort of seeps all over your house. Yeah. So yeah. nail polish goes on in the sitting room. Yeah. It does not go on in the kitchen yeah. where all my other makeup does. Because um, it's a telly thing. Yeah, it is exactly that. Yeah. <coughs> so cleansing, what, whatever that goes on in the bathroom, makeup all happens here and my work happens in here. Because you've got here. good light in here. <coughs> exactly, because the light's good and I've got some space. Yeah. Um, and nails happen in the sitting room in front of the TV, usually. But I'm very fond of um, a Chanel polish. I do like uh, Chanel colours. But this that I'm wearing today is by a brand called Soigne. And they do some super vibrant shades that are really exciting to wear. I, I think I love it. It's funny. I think everybody kind of <coughs> has a main nail polish crush. I, I've obviously got millions of polishes, just like you. And there are various ones I love, different colours I love. But everyone has their crush, and for lots of people, it's Chanel. For me, it's YSL. You see, YSL yeah. polishes just float my boat. Dior but polishes are cannot, amazing. You cannot be a Dior red. You Dior, really can't. Dior polishes are amazing. It, nice wide brush. Yeah. Good colours. I love a wide brush. Uh, oh, wide brushes Brands for the wind. Brands are using thin brushes. So gone. No, yeah. it feels old. Yeah, me too. Feels old. I feel the same way. Yeah. So what is? So these are the things that you have come in that you haven't yet mostly These are things I haven't. you're interested in and you're yeah working. mostly i haven't this is a bit of this couple of packages that arrived this morning that arrived this morning it's a never-ending thing got a big box that arrived this morning so what has drawn you on on this table what has drawn you to these products right where you think hmm interested and this is something that i i just thought you know we can get very 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 serious about beauty can't we yeah and these gorgeous little cat face ace um, lashes from Ilo. Uh, I love this. Uh, and these are out in, uh, I think, in September time. But how cute! For Halloween. Probably. What a lovely, what a lovely idea. So while I have actually already blogged them, I'm thrilled with them, and I don't want to put them away because I just want to keep looking. You just up. want to look at them. I won't wear them. Yeah. But you it's know, just lovely. They're just delightful. I love a lash. Yeah, absolutely. They're really, lash. really cute. I've. Um, oh, this is a brand. Um, What's it called? Eve Snow, mm -hmm. which I've not really taken a lot of notice 
off, but they've they've rebottled, rebranded, mm -hmm. and I I do like the look of these, so I'm going to give those another go. And here, like one pound or one fifty yeah. or something, the little essence polishes, I think a stunning stunning value for money. Yeah. Um, and that's an essence gloss. I haven't tried it. So that you're yet. a gloss girl. Yeah, because I find lipsticks really drying, mm -hmm. and I'm sure I'm just allergic to an ingredient. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. very few lipsticks that I. I do get this from readers every now and then, mm. as I'm sure you do. Occasionally, a reader will say, "I can't wear lipstick. It dries me out yes, so badly." It does, and I'm wearing it today, and I'm thinking, I'm "I'd gonna... have to throw myself off a bridge if that but were the, the case." Thing is, My best Sally, thing in the world. That's why I like gloss. Now I'm like a gloss expert. So yeah. I don't need to worry too much about yeah, lipstick. Yeah, see, I have limited interest in gloss. No, I love it. Mm. I think it's really, if you've got sort of lip creases, and I've had, you know, sort of 90 year old lips since I was born, I think. I just, you know, it's just the way they're made, they're quite creased. And it just, it just kind of diffuses that a mm -hmm. bit. And I think mm -hmm. it's, I think it's really nice. And I love the reapplication. If my hair gets caught in it, I don't mind. I like it. Yeah, see, that's It's a bit it of a celebration of yeah. the fact that I'm wearing gloss. I, I don't I mind get it. it. I get it. I'm, not, I'm the same with lipstick. People say to me, oh, can you recommend a lipstick that will stay on for 12 hours? And it's like, well, not no, a nice one. Not really. <laughs> not no. a nice one. Um, because I, uh, but I love the application. I do. I don't mind it's reapplying. Not, but it's a joy. Yes. It's a joy. Pop to the ladies. The Lovely. I don't even pop to the ladies. I think you should brazen it out at oh. the table. There's a whole chapter on why you should do it at the table at my book. I've just, I'm shameless. I'm, I'm shameless. Do. It's a good look. I'll do it walking along the street. Yeah. I don't train. Yeah. Don't care. Totally. Yeah. Just do so it wherever you want. We have um, some Paula's Choice here. So no, that, that's an interesting new. one. Yes. Blogger who became a brand. Yes. But I'm pretty um, interested in this. I am only too. because I was given, for years, I ignored it. I don't ask me why. It just didn't spark any interest. Um, but I, I tried the 1% yeah. um, BHA liquid. And I thought, this is actually really good. The acids are very but good. But I need the number two so I'm just I'm yet to try that but I'm trying the um Sunday Riley blue, lunar the oil. lunar oil how are you getting on it's very blue it is very blue hence it's nighttime application you certainly couldn't go out like that have you gone through the pain barrier yet where you've peeled from the retinol no no how long have you been using it uh about three or four days yeah it's coming Jane is it it's coming mm. like any decent retinol I mean it's coming Okay, but we'll I'm, see how you go. I'm slightly discouraged because it is so blue and I'm not sure it needs to be blue. I feel they've made it blue to fit the name. And I'll I'm, tell you about that later. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what else do we have here? We have some Margaret Dabbs foot stuff. No, it's the hand stuff. It's no, the Margaret it's the, Dabbs. Oh yeah, well, She's gone handy. So she has, yeah. good, okay. Different colour for hands, yep. so that's new. Have you ever had a Margaret Dabbs Medi Pedi? No, everybody says oh, they're phenomenal. Oh my God. I thought I would die of pleasure. Really? Yes. It's literally, I would say it's in my top five beauty treatments of all time. See, it's... Baby feet. You leave with baby feet. I went for a facial yesterday, which was phenomenal because they do extractions. Mm. You know, uh. I have no time. It was at Face Place at Rosewood Hotel. I have no time to go and lie on a couch and let somebody sort of gently wipe my face with lavender. I, I can do that at home. I hate... So we have a meeting of minds here. I hate <sighs> beauty treatments that are wishy-washy. Yes, I do. I don't want holistic. No. I want you to batter me yes. with stuff. I, if stuff so, is not <clears throat> coming out of my face. I want, it's not being done properly. I want shit coming out of yes. my face. That's yes. one of it. And I yeah. want to come away having had something that I wouldn't do in my own bathroom. Exactly. So you would love Margaret Dabbs. Also, you need to get a Kate Kerr facial. I'll tell you about that really? after. Really? Okay. Kate Kerr facial. You would love it because it's down and dirty stuff out of your face, proper extractions. Okay. You would love it. But I have maybe yeah. one facial a year because you cannot find no, facialists there's no time. now who are prepared to, well, yeah, A, because there's no time, uh, but also because you can't find facialists to, to really get you in there. You need a cake curve yeah, facial, okay. I'm going to sort this okay. out. Okay, okay. So, what else do we have? Um, so we have La Roche-Posay. And I love, I love La Roche-Posay. Great brand. It is a super brand and this is a, micellar water gel yes I and i'm interested in the concept of a micellar gel because i was quite an early adopter of micellar waters mm -hmm. i love micellars actually mm -hmm. so i like to you know this this is one of the great pleasures is that you can watch products literally go through their development totally. so there was no such thing as a micellar gel mm -hmm. now there is mm -hmm. so you know that's 
I, I'm very interested I'll in, be interested in to know happens. what you think because I've been sent that too and I love a micellar water I always have one next to the bed because one never yeah. knows when one might be really tired or had to drink too many yeah and I always have one next to the bed and it'll be like an event or a La Roche Posay yeah. or whatever I've got at the time I'm less keen on the gel because it doesn't have the sweepy ease it's a bit more doesn't like it? a it's a bit more solid, so I don't feel like I'm doing the whole face as easily. But I'll be interested to no, know I what like you think. The, I like the uh, look of this. Well, horses for courses. It's kind this of is almost the next on the the list of things to talk about. Um, I'll be interested to know what you think. For me, I mean, it still does the job beautifully, but for me, I didn't like the application as much. Just trying to, oh yeah, this is the new uh, Viva Glam, yep. Miley Cyrus, which yeah. is and stunning. it's a particularly good one this year, I feel. Yeah, orange. It's a bit like Lady Danger, that kind of red. It's very orange red. I, d I don't know. I'm not good on red. I, I'm really not. Bag, but that I, I will always, always, unquestioningly, no matter how I might feel about the celebrity and the face, although I am interested to know if they get paid. I am interested to know that. Um, I will always support because they make so much money. For they make a, a staggering. It's just huge. They make a staggering amount of money, and it's yeah. not like fifteen pence off the purchase price. It's no, the it's whole the whole thing. lot. It's the whole Minus thing. Minus the VAT, which has to so go to the government. So it's not a PR. Yeah. 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 Have ten p. Exactly. So I think this is a fragrance in here. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I don't even know what's in this. I this is a Revlon one. So you really are coming to. I don't even know what's in here. Okay, Revlon. All right, fine. There's like a bronzer in there and a bit of contouring is it new? action. Is Some of it's new, some of it's not. The campaign is new. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, and so there's only a little bit of skincare here. There's not yes, tons. It's skincare is not my. But bear in mind, you're just looking at a very small portion. Yeah. Um, there are there are not skincare is not so much of a passion as actual. Get it on your face. Yeah. Um, get, well, the joy of makeup is you can, when you're a journalist, you can test makeup so quickly. I can test makeup yeah. and know how I feel about it within two minutes. Yeah, no, I can too. And also, over time, over a period of time, you amass such a library yes. in your head. It's yeah. like a little Rolodex in your head. And you can actually relate one product to another totally. from maybe five years ago, six years ago. So I love doing that. That's, that's really... See, I'm much more animated when I'm talking about makeup yeah. because it really is yeah. a passion. I it love it. It still turns you on. It just make, do you know, it just makes, on the whole, it generally makes people happy. Yeah, yeah. I cannot not mention the fact that you have a sunglasses stand on your worktop. <laughs> it's Please so funny. explain yourself. Okay, so my son found that. You know the National... Geographic store. Yeah. It closed down. Right. And they were selling off their sunglasses stand for five pounds. So my son bought it for me and brought it home and said, Mum, look what I found. So you grab your shades from the display. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got a bit of a thing for Chanel sunglasses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't help it, it's a weakness. Those top ones are amazing. I think it's genetic. Those top These ones, ones are my no babe. These they're my favourite. Oh my so god, I've, I've worn those so I'm much. Sunglasses they're so nut. scratched now. Yeah, they're good. They really, love. really suit you. But look at these. I'm sunglasses mad. Look at these. Yeah, the they're great. Them. But they do assume that you've got a very wide head. Well, my, my sunglasses are Chanel and they fit me perfectly because I do have a wide head. Well, Lots of sunglasses hurt me. <gasps> they suit you better. They're good, aren't they? Those. Those, yeah, they're really, really lovely. But that... Those were my first Chanel's that I bought myself before I even worked in beauty. Sentimental value. Yeah. I didn't even work in Peter, nothing to do with them. It's so absolutely ancient, but I've still got them. And they weren't so wide back then. So see this little bag here, which I have in negative, in reverse. So mine right. is blue with black. Not seen this colourway before. Is this your makeup bag that you would just grab if you had to leave the house, didn't have time to get sorted? Is this what you would take? If I'm truly honest with you, mm -hmm. you won't find a handbag in this house, of which there are many, that does not have some makeup totally. in it already. Same. Everything has something yeah. in it. Yeah. And I often think that I could probably create another drawer of beauty yeah. products that I caught about in various yeah. bags. But this is a sort of assembly, I suppose, of stuff that I know that I can just rely on to get to wherever I am. So if I know that I've got something I might need to touch up for or, you know, to try and look half decent, mm -hmm. then I'll take this along with okay. me. And do you want to know what's in it? I absolutely do. <laughs> okay. So that's your nude air foundation. So you're liking the serum foundation. I love it. Yes. It's, 
Sally, your skin is maybe not quite where mine is. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely isn't. And I think you'll find serum foundations kinder <laughs> as time goes on. Maybe I just, uh, mine's so dry, I don't find they have enough moisture in them. Just add some oil. I add, I add mm. a bit of the Body Shop yeah. oil Yeah, I use it. Maestro a lot. When I'm, when I'm um, dealing with other women and doing other women's makeup, I very often will use Maestro or another fusion foundation like New Dare. Um, I do love them, but just mm. not on my skin. But maybe we'll get there. Interesting, interesting. The Makeup Forever bronzer, which is just the best. I love makeup for That is just so such much. a, it's a good great color. bronzer. There's not too much shimmer on it. But a little bit to bring light to yeah, the face. It will really literally nice. just lift. Yeah. Um, the bare minerals that we've also discussed. Are you like someone who likes a bit of color? You like a bit of a sun kissed glow? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because my skin um, goes, it changes color. So in the winter, I'm very sallow mm -hmm. and pale, but mm -hmm. I've always got this kind of olivey tone. Mm -hmm. And then in summer, I go quite brown. Mm -hmm. So something like this suits, just suits me really well. Kind of gives it a lift. Yeah, exactly. I've got a nice little Bare Minerals duo here, which suits me. Bit of a classic. Yeah, yeah. It's, and I love those. I hate mineral makeup, but I, I love those press ones. My beloved NARS brush. Top brush. I will not be without this. Top brush. I, it does everything. So good for cream Foundation, blush. Foundation, blush, the lot. It's a great brush. Speaking of cream blush, where is my lovely cream brush? Oh, I've also started using these brushes. Yeah, they're amazing. Very keen on those. Yeah. That one is from Victoria Health. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to show you my uh, cream blush because I never ever, if I can possibly avoid it, uh, wear a powder blush because it, okay. I very rarely do these days very mm. rarely I'm almost always cream the new um, volume a porter from yes like it it is a lovely great product. brush yeah I'm glad we're agreeing on so many yeah, we products. Are. This is actually my gloss okay, of the year. Here we fall out. <laughs> oh, you don't like no, it? No, I love Delilah. I love Delilah. I hate gloss. No, I'm just not a gloss girl. I was disgusted. It's so great brand. I've worn this and worn this, and you can see it's. I'm starting to empty it mm -hmm. out, and mm -hmm. the chance of me actually emptying something is quite slim. Yeah, love the brand. Not Urban Decay gloss. pencil that always has to be with me at some. Twenty four seven glide pencils are amazing. They're really, really good. Yeah. Um, I've got this red MAC lipstick, which is one of the few reds that is really that suit me. Is that Russian red? Mm. Oh, Sweet Sakura. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And I, it's not too orange, it's not as orange as the people. It's not matte. No, and it's not matte either. Always carry a bit of um, hand chemistry. I'll have some of that now. Yes, too. And finally, that is just a very... It's called Quite Natural. I wore that on Saturday. Did you? I did. I love it. Brilliant. Paint pots are awesome. Yeah, they're really, really good because they just give your lids a finished look without a made up look, yeah. which is amazing. And it's very hard to go wrong with them. Oh, yeah, it is really difficult. And I'm annoyed that I can't see my gorgeous little a la carte. Let me see if I put it back in the drawer of it, the everything drawer. Well, anyway, it's a la carte and it's just a lovely um, sort of translucent, I suppose you say peachy, like a deep peach shade. And it's just, it's lovely. I always ask people this and they very often don't have an answer, so don't feel under pressure, but I feel like you will. What product does not exist that you want to exist? Well, actually, possibly a lipstick that I'm not allergic to. Mm -hmm. That would be very nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I still think there's a lot of room for mascaras that will grow your lashes properly. Yeah. Not just a nod and not using the stuff that makes you go blind. I've forgotten mm -hmm. the name of it. Um, I think it, I've always wanted a properly vinyl looking mascara. And there have been vinyl mascaras, mm -hmm. they're never vinyl. Mm -hmm. There have been leather look mascaras, mm -hmm. they're never leather. Mm -hmm. I would love like madly patent lashes kinky lashes really patent like with a gloss on them and nobody's done that mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. so that would be it i would like that that is what i would like above everything even the lipstick is a properly patent black mascara va va boom patent glossy vinyl yeah. looking mascara. yeah like almost plastic looking i would love that right well you heard it so brands need to get on that <laughs> and mine will be a mascara as well I want a tubing mascara that gives as much drama as a traditional mascara. That's what I want because I use two mascaras. Yeah, that's I great. use a dramatic mascara, so 
you know, um, eyes to kill from Armani mm. or something. But then I have to put a tube over the top, like an Estee Lauder double wear, a clinic lash to pad, to in. lock it down. Right. I want one that does both, but at the moment they don't exist because it's just plastic. You can't build up fibres with plastic. So some boffin needs to make that happen. Maybe a double ender, isn't it? Ma um, yeah, maybe it's a double ender. But yeah, but that's quite annoying because you have yeah. to wait for it to dry. And, or I put a little black primer or something over the top and it works. It works brilliantly, have but I want one tube. The uh, L'Oreal, I, th I think it's Maybelline, bringing out the messy mascara. Yes. Where I just think, I mean, it's it's horrible, but it's genius that somebody thought, right, some people are getting their makeup really, really badly wrong. Not that I truly think there's right and wrongs, but, you know, mascara is something that can go slightly awry. And instead of going, it, 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 it's terrible, like, let's make a mascara for people and will make their look a look. Yeah, I just yeah, think, yeah, I love it. Brilliant And thinking. the manga lashes was great as well. Yeah. I, I love those innovations when somebody kind of goes, let's have fun, yes. let's muck about. Like those little um, cat face lashes, yeah. that's fun. Yeah, because it should be fun. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. You're supposed to enjoy it, not, yeah. not take it too seriously. Yeah, it's meant to make you feel good, not worse. Yeah. Sure. Um, what, what, your camera there, is that where you take photos for your blog on this surface? Yes, but I mean, I'm rubbish at taking pictures. Who knew, I never knew that, you know, 45, I was going to have to start learning photography. So I, I will be confess that I've never quite mastered it. If you're looking for amazing photography, don't, don't come to British Beauty Blogger. That's not where you're going to find it. Well, for all other things, you can. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell us, just before we go, why don't you tell anybody watching, if they don't already follow you, where you are and what you're called? Okay, so my blog is BritishBeautyBlogger.com. My Twitter is at BritBeautyBlog. My Periscope, I think, is at BritBeautyBlog. I think it is. But again, I'm quite new uh, to that. Uh, where else am I? Instagram is at BritBeautyBlog. Uh, where else? I don't, I don't. I don't really do. I do have Pinterest and I do have Facebook, but I don't focus on those, so I wouldn't. So that's where you can find Jane. Thank you so much for having us today. It's been a joy. Thank you. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. You were brilliant, and thank you for being so honest and frank. Um, this is bound to be a multiple parter, so do look for the other parts you may have missed because it's been a long one. Hooray for that! Um, and otherwise, I will see you next time on sallyhughesbeauty.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.